All right, we got a 49ers roster move. The San Francisco 49ers have signed safety Taylor Hawkins to the practice squad, and they have released Trey Norwood. Now, this is not going to be the first time that Taylor Hawkins has been on the practice squad. In fact, he spent the previous last two years with the San Francisco 49ers. He signed um, out of SDSU as an undrafted free agent um, in 2022. So the 6'1", 205-pound safety returns. I've actually always enjoyed Taylor Hawkins' game. Um, I think this year in preseason, uh, he had broken his wrist, and then um, he was subsequently waived um, from IR uh, earlier in the year. So he spent all of training camp with us this year, spent all, spent all of training camp with us last year. Um, he's been on the team and the roster for a couple of years now, but obviously not this year uh, once he was waived from IR. So it's a it's a return. It's a player that we know, uh, know well. Uh, obviously, uh, with him signing, it's likely an indication that he's healed uh, from the broken wrist. Um, so it'll be interesting to see uh, if he actually sees the field for the San Francisco 49ers. But... Um, the 49ers add some safety depth to the practice squad. He's 25 years old, uh, and, and in, in, in SDSU, he appeared in 57 games with 31 starts. He had over 170 tackles, five tackles for loss, 22 pass deflections, three interceptions, one forced fumble, and he was second team all Mountain West uh during his time playing and like I said the 49ers released Trey Norwood from the practice squad in a corresponding move but I know this isn't the move that San Francisco 49er fans want to see it's a uh, it's a move nonetheless but I know after last night's game against the Vikings fans are chomping at the bit to see the 49ers active in the trade market so uh get some depth for the practice squad is this going to be an impact signing or anything like that obviously not um i haven't seen taylor hawkins actually play in a real game uh since he had been with the 49ers previously so it'll be interesting to see if he makes his way onto the field as a special teamer or anything like that but um It'll be interesting to see if the 49ers make some other roster moves and in the form of a trade or something like that. Uh, so, again, wanted to let you guys know what this current move was that the 49ers just made. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Should the 49ers be active in, in some trade talks? And if so, let me know who you think the 49ers should go get. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.